In this video, I share with you a demonstration that Tammy Van Hollander does with me for sand tray therapy. Hi, Jackie. How are you doing today? Doing good. How are you doing? Good. So Jackie, today we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to do something called an online sand tray. Okay. So we have sand trays. Often I have sand trays in my office or when we're doing it on telehealth, we do it online. And the whole idea of sand tray therapy is that we have our conscious mind and our unconscious mind that are often in conflict. And by creating in the sand tray, whether it's virtual or whether it's in person, it becomes really powerful and different ways that we can resolve those conflicts. So what we're going to do today <laughs> is you are going to be doing a sand tray story. And what we know within play therapy in the world of play therapy, the power of metaphors and the power of symbolism. And what stories do is they create that safe psychological distance from our problems. So today we're going to be using Karen Freed's online sand tray, which is wonderful. It is a free online sand tray. There are other sand trays to be using on telehealth. Dr. Jessica Stone has a virtual sand tray app, which can be used with an iPad. And there's also a Simply Sand Play app too. So all different types of apps and ways that we can be using the power of sand tray in telehealth. So, Jackie, what we're going to do is share the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Online sand tray. Awesome. So for this demonstration, Jackie had it queued up. I may have it queued up and then even give Jackie control to be able to use my remote. But Jackie has it all queued up today, and I'm going to show Jackie how to use it. And also she could be using the annotate feature because we're doing this on Zoom. Mm -hmm. So Jackie, on the right, you'll see that this is a sand. And then we have the numbers from one to seven here. So if you just wanna first even look at the first one and you can scroll down and see all the different things, I believe you're pretty familiar with this one. So each page is a little different. And what I want you to do today, and I believe the power of non-directive can hold a whole different meaning than if we have a specific agenda of meeting the client where they are. So I want you without too much thinking, okay, whatever miniatures, as you're just looking at these or images speak to you, I want you to just place them. Okay. In the tray. And a story may not even come until the very end. So whatever one speaks to you, just feel free to place them in the sand. Okay. Let's see. And you can see that you can, yeah, after you click, you can make it bigger. You could turn it, whatever feels right. A little bit of tree. I love nature. Okay. You have the tree of nature. Oh, a mushroom. <laughs> <laughs> Those mushrooms get used a lot. It's so fun. It's like the cutest mushroom. Let's see. Um, I'll find some people. Oh. <laughs> your creativity <laughs> and I know there are other people I'm not sure what page they are on but it sounds like you're figuring out just what you need with those okay yeah, let's look on the other ones to see. Mm. Okay. 
you got it down. You know how to do the copy. So Jackie already knows how to copy them. If we want to put things in the back or in the front, there is a button for that too. Yeah, I love the controls on this. It's pretty cool. Let's see, flip. And flip it. Dr. Karen Free did a great job with this app. She did. Oh my goodness. Love it. Um, oh my goodness, the hat. I'm gonna leave the hat there. Okay. <laughs> um See, you knew just that little change. The hat was there and it felt right for it to stay just there. It did, yeah. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm almost done. Let me do this. I don't know what everything's going to mean. I'm just kind of putting them in there randomly, just kind of what what's jumping out at me. But yeah, and that's that's exactly the best way to do it. Now, if you were in person, I would just say let the miniatures choose you. So the oh, images are choosing you. Oh, I love it. I think. Let me just look for. Oh, oh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, let me make it to where. Okay. And Jackie, you said something which we hear so much is as you're creating, whether it's a real sand tray or online, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, but I'm just doing it. And then you'll see how it can all come together. Oh, I'm excited. Yeah, I don't actually have a story just yet, but I'm excited. About don't that. need to. Okay. Um, let's see. All right, I am, I'm finished. It feels complete. Okay, so Jackie, how it's gonna work is I am actually going to write it down. You're gonna do a story with a beginning, middle and end. Mm -hmm. And the whole story is pretend. So it could start with one day or once upon a time and just whatever speaks to you from this picture of creating a story. Are you comfortable with doing that? I am. I am. Okay. And I am going to write the story down because your story is very important. Oh, I love that idea. <laughs> write <it> down too. <laughs> okay. Uh, when should I start now? You can start. Yes. Whether you want to start with one day or once upon a time. Okay. Um, once upon a time, there was a little robot, and the little robot didn't um, didn't have a plan for okay, the so day. The little, I, okay, so the little robot, and, and also, so when we write down stories, it helps us to keep track. It helps us to slow down the client and make sure that I get all the pieces. So once upon a time, there was a little robot and the little robot, what was the next part? The little robot did not have a plan for the day. So the little robot did not have a plan for the day. Until he met Big Stone Man. <laughs> Until he met Big Stone Man. Big Stone Man said, I don't have a plan for the day either. Let's do this together. So Big Snowman said, I don't have a plan either. Stone Man. Stone Man, got it. He's tougher than Snowman. <laughs> right? <laughs> the opposite. Let's do this together. So Big Stone Man is tough. Big, tough, strong, can handle pretty much everything is the way that the robot sees him. Oh, okay. Big, tough, strong. 
can handle anything, at least in the robot size, right? Yes, in the robot size. Okay. And what happens next? Well, Robot and Stone Man went on an adventure. Okay, they went on an adventure. And on that adventure, they learned a lot of cool things. Each one of these things in the sand tray had some wisdom to give Stone Man and Little Robot. Okay. Do you want to do a couple of them? Of which mm -hmm. ones have wisdom yeah. to show? Well, this tiger down here reminds me of the tiger from the Bengal Spice Chai Tea. <laughs> <laughs> and that reminded like the the tiger said little robot and stone man always remember to take time for some quiet and stillness in your life mm. always remember to take time for some quiet and stillness oh this is neat it is coming together <laughs> amazing i have like a felt sense in my body like some chills yeah. um then the stone man and little robot encountered um the juggler that said be and the juggler had a bicycle and the juggler said be sure to always Always be mindful of your balance. Mm. Wow. Be sure to be mindful of your balance. I didn't even know what I was picking when I picked that, but that definitely. And then they um, they met the wizard hat that was just floating all around. And the wizard hat said, Never lose sight of the magic in the world. Mm. Always look for the magical, mystical, mysterious, fun things. And the giraffe reminds me of someone real special to me that is very wise. Mm. So the, um, the, um, the giraffe said, always um, remember to seek more knowledge. Never get complacent with where you're at. Um, always stay curious. Mm. And then sure, the... Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> the, the bees, the bees were like, um, never forget your significance in the world even mm. when you're small even if you irritate others remember your value you're important in this world remember your value and then the treasure chest said um Look for treasure in the smallest, simplest of places. Mm. Don't go um, always seeking the good stuff um, externally. Dig deep within. Dig deep within. And the sun, the sun said, Cover up. It's going to get high out here. <laughs> yeah. sure so the sun's up. protecting, making sure they're covering up. Yes. Yeah. Because because the sun knows of the the harshness that this new experience could, could give. Ah, so the sun knows about the harshness a new experience can give. Mm -hmm. And the rainbow says, um, uh, 
the rainbow is really speaking to, and I'm specifically thinking about how I use that sometimes when I feel overwhelmed, just to pick out something of every color, like I'd learned from you. Um, it, it reminds me that um, even when something feels really big, it's mm -hmm. not permanent. Like the, mm. there's, there's like impermanency in the, uh, all of it. The, the good right. stuff and the tough stuff. So ride it out. Ride it out. And then the last couple things, the little pond with the bridge is really just saying, take it one step at a time. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. and always be mindful of where you came from and where you're going. Mm-hmm. And the, the dark clouds, which is interesting, it's just kind of coming to me. The dark clouds yeah. remind me of how, like if those dark clouds there weren't there, it would look like a totally different image. The darkness is actually making the rainbow look brighter. Mm. Reminds me of that you can't have a rainbow without a little rain, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So think about maybe that's kind of like the anything hard really magnifies the the good stuff, the sweet stuff in life. Yeah. And then the um then that does remind me of something that I just heard at least Dion's training was um uh things don't happen to you, they happen for you. So I think about mm. how that cloud could rec really represent the importance of having some some um rain and some some darkness to steer you in the right direction mm. and then um the other thing i see is the butterfly and the butterfly reminds me of my friend didi and she's really big on butterflies and she has like a lot of really cool things happening in her life right now so just to think about her makes me feel good and that butterfly reminds me of like how um, people can persevere through really tough stuff and it can get real yes. good out of something hard. Kind of like the butterfly can um, kind of emerge from the chrysalis. And that's it besides the tree. Let me see what the tree has. About five branches. Mm. And when I think about five, I think about um, kind of I have five big things going on in my life, uh, you know, like big projects right now with what I'm yeah. doing as far as business wise and, and personal wise added up all together. So I have like um, some 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 big ventures that some of them, I'm not sure if I could step out on that limb and the limb will break something like a shaky like, uh, <laughs> like this is kind of scary. <laughs> Um, but I still want to climb the tree, but I'm, I'm just kind of tiptoeing out to the edge to, to see if it's, if, um, I'm either skilled enough to climb that tree or if it can hold my weight. <laughs> right. <laughs> another way other than climbing it to just kind of, kind of, um, experience those projects. So maybe the joker and the bicycle may need to help the tree with balance. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm curious if the Joker has a message for the tree. Mm. Hi, tree. Just be who you are. Oh, gosh. That, that's like going to bring tears to my eyes. Be, be a tree because that's what be you're designed to do. And things will work out in the way that they're meant to. Yeah. Wow. So this journey started with the the robot and the big stone man who went on an adventure together. Mm -hmm. First, let me start with the robot. Does is there does the robot who's heard so much wisdom from all of these different pieces? Is there one specific that means the most to the robot of these different messages of wisdom. Um, gosh, as I'm glancing at it, the and in fact, it's even selected here. 
the the yeah. Little spice tiger i haven't been drinking as much tea as i used to because it takes longer to make than like coffee or to grab some water or something but i love tea and i'm missing mm. out on that important part of my life um that I really love. Like one time I literally bought a case of this Bengal spice chai tea. <laughs> like when I say I love it, I mean, I love it. I used to drink several cups of it per day and I haven't had it. Oh, God. Ah, okay. I haven't had it like in months. So, and I haven't really, you know, yeah, I, I have taken time to kind of be still, but it's declined quite a bit in the last say three months. So it's a message maybe to slow down, wait for the water to boil and enjoy that tea. Yes, yes. In fact, I'm going to turn it towards the robot and maybe make it even a bigger part of the, the picture. Yeah. Yeah. For Ooh. the robot to have some tea. Oh, I just felt it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah. See, this is when things begin to, to move around. How about the big stone man? You know, the robot has all these amazing qualities that, that the robot thinks of this big stone man, that the robot may think that this big stone man needs nothing. But what does the big stone man need? Oh, my goodness, Tammy. I just realized something. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms behind there. Oh, um, Wow, that's incredible. I totally forgot about it. I was like, where'd that mushroom go? The power of it. You you were you started to say, I have no story. And look at the power of every one of your metaphors. Yeah, I feel it too. I'm thinking about Stone Man looks big, rough, and tough. But really, when you peel back the layers of fragility, but still the magnificence of a um and the I mean, mushrooms are incredible. Um but there's like this mushroom like, um, you know, like there's there's some parts to them that are way more fragile than what looks like to be on the surface stone. He has something that you could literally take two fingers and break. Yeah. He has a tenderness inside of him. You know, it reminds me of, you know, I'm a big Encanto fan. And mm -hmm. Louisa, he's so big and strong and how hard it is to, to be big and strong and to be, to look at the lens through the robot, seeing seeing the big stone man is having all the, all the strength that it, it may be hard for the big stone man to sometimes show weakness. Ooh, wow wonder can i can i change well i guess i did with the tiger would it be all right if i showed the mushroom you can do whatever you decide there are no rules and you have annotate too so feel free if there's anything you need to move around uh -huh. use annotate whatever you need for the story to be complete and let me just say since this is also a demo you used all the different images on in on the screen and when we're doing this with um, our clients they do not have to use all of them they can if they choose to so it's really just following our clients lead oh my goodness this is quite the experience too i literally were, was just picking this out randomly um i didn't have a plan for any of them and that is so much the power. We talk so much you, with Santre of intervention to intervention or different prompts. But when we can just create and have the images speak to us, which is exactly what's happening here, and there's no agenda, that's where the true healing happens. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I feel it. Tell me what just happened now. You just did a big shift in your in your picture tell me what that was like and how that even felt in your body um to really um i feel kind of emotional i feel like i could cry right now to yeah. think about like don't hide the tenderness like don't like try to make it and pretend like it's not there like the actual fragility of the mushroom on the stone man gives us so much more personality um and i think about like how a lot of times 
um a lot of times i try to pretend present like oh that doesn't really hurt my feelings that's not it or that's not something that i really cared about when in in essence it was so showing like the mushroom fragility the humanity of us sometimes is very beautiful the authenticity okay, i'm gonna i'm gonna do something i'm hoping it's not gonna get you too emotional we're gonna shift for a second to oaklander and i want you to be the mushroom oh okay I am, the I am the mushroom. And what's it like to be a mushroom? Well, I feel much better now that I am seen and I'm witnessed before I was hiding. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was behind stone man, the stone man. But now I'm right next to robot. <laughs> and I can see the tiger and everything. I feel like I'm important now that I'm out. Mm, so first you weren't feeling important and now you are seen and you are in the friend and you are feeling seen and important yes yeah yeah is there i'm looking there's so so much power in all of these images jackie when you're looking at all of this is there one specific and if you want to circle it there may not be one there could be a couple that Truly, I mean, it sounds like they're all powerful and speak to you in different ways, mm -hmm. but, and, and maybe each of these speak to you in different ways, but there are certain elements of different images that you need at different times. Yes. Yes. So you want me to circle something that's kind of jumping circle, out? Maybe for something just for today, like which, which image are you really needing to hear from today and to, to grasp for today? I mean, they all seem so powerful, but there may be one that's particularly highlighted for today. I would say the, can you see that? Yep. The clouds. Mm. The clouds um, looking for the value in the difficult challenges. Mm. Because that seems to be so um, just kind of um, instrumental. And like when, it, when anything's hard for me, that's when I learn new skills. That's when I grow. That's when I heal other parts of me. That's when I realize, hey, I need to you know really do something i need to make a change so the clouds to me maybe look at them rather than looking at them as like a, oh, i can't believe this is happening Be like what is this here for and how can i how can i improve whatever or grow or whatever it has to offer yeah. You know, when we look at stories, we're often looking at resources and we're looking at obstacles and there are so many resources, so many resources within the story and the clouds could have been used as an obstacle, but you changed them also as well as a, a resource of this. I mean, if you were to name this, this whole story, what do you think the story would be called? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Wonderland. Wonderland. Wow. Because I wonder what else is in there that's not showing itself today. <laughs> oh, and that is what what a beautiful segue, right? In terms of sand tray, that we create a sand tray and we process it and it means one thing and an hour it means something else and the next day it means something else right and that that is the power that these images are constantly moving in your brain and giving you different messages and speaking to you because they are coming from your unconscious hmm. and that that is the beauty of it and i so appreciate jackie you being vulnerable and sharing this story for to all of us, right? <laughs> this is online and I'm sure as, as a clinician. So when we have these type of stories and as a clinician, we feel it, we, we feel the messages. So as clinicians, how do we hold our clients' stories? And they begin to give us different messages too, that many of us can relate to many of these metaphors and how do we how do we hold that in our own safe spaces as well and and 
what an honor it is to be able to do this work and to be able to hold these stories and and be able to introduce and help navigate these stories for for our clients. Oh my goodness, thank you, Tammy. I feel it. I feel like a tingly in my arms and this was quite the experience. It's definitely, um, when I went to put the miniatures in there, I had no idea. Literally, I'm just clicking around and I'm like, oh, look, there's that big stone man. Oh, look, the mushroom's cute. And it all came together. And it's the story of my experience right now. <laughs> and, yes. and a reminder that I just need to um, really kind of uh, see value in the challenges and slow down, keep balance and um, remember to kind of learn from my friends. Um, she she just overcame a bunch of stuff and she's doing great and thinking that butterfly makes me feel good and the magic, all of it. It just seems so powerful in just that, like 20 minutes. Yeah. And it's really being able then, you know, to screenshot this picture. Some will even when they have powerful stories, it'll be for a little while on their phone and it's there, you know, it's because there's so many messages to this and what are you needing to hear? So it's been a long day. You may need that. You may be needing to hear from that tiger being like, Jackie, you don't need coffee right now. Slow down and make some tea. And, and what are the messages? And it's about us just listening. Right. I think about and the rabbit listened. Sometimes we just have to listen. And all of these amazing images that you created have such wisdom and such messages that they have something to say. And sometimes we just need to slow down and listen to them. Oh, my goodness. That's great. I'm going to make some tea after this, too. <laughs> that's great. Can I stop sharing right yes, now? Yes, Absolutely. Thank you. That was, even as we're saying that, I'm like looking at, like I didn't even make coffee this morning. I stopped and got coffee. I love the idea of slowing down. Um, I didn't even realize that I needed to go on a journey with, with a little robot or <laughs> big stone man. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's incredible. I feel the feelings too. I feel yeah, like. And what you may want to do, Jackie, even though you don't have a lot of free time, but if you have any time to, but to absolutely, to, you know, to take a picture of it and just to journal um, anything else of the different messages, because the journal just makes it deeper. And you could see if I just asked you, oh, Jackie, you know, let's do just do pick, pick an image of th that's in reality of how you're feeling about it, all the different stages in your life, you wouldn't have gotten there, yeah. but you just, it was the images that, that gave the voice. Absolutely. Yeah. I didn't even know where I was going to go. I don't know how a therapist would know how to direct me where to go even. So, oh, that was powerful. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, you're welcome. And go, and I always encourage after sand trace, move around or do some Play-Doh because it's in our body, right? That's the power of sand tray. Our limbic system's being triggered and we feel it through our whole body. Uh, so being able to move around and just get it out of our body is always good. So after some of these activities online, we may do a scribble or we may do some artwork just as a way to just move move around mm -hmm. because it is so powerful that may go ride my bike i love that idea i do feel it i feel it mainly in my arms i feel heaviness behind my eyes um and i feel like a, a surge of energy like in my core like a 